are on National Highway 2 in Manipur. What you can see appears to be nothing, no trucks, no lorries, but that's because a blockade called on the 1st of November 2016 is actually being effective. The contention here is the seven new districts which were recently created by the state government. It kicked off a crippling blockade called by the United Naga Council, who is opposed to it. It is in this atmosphere of tension and economic hardship that the state goes to elections in March. The incumbent Congress has been in power for 15 years but faces some tough and surprising challenges ahead. In an assembly of 60 seats, the valley sends 40 MLAs while the hills send 20. Besides topographical differences, the state also has mostly Hindu Maites in the valley and Christian Nagas in the hills. Analysts and the opposition both feel that the creation of these new districts so close to elections was a ploy of the incumbent Congress to consolidate votes. In an interview with Outlook, the Chief Minister explains this theory of consolidation. What the impact of this blockade is going to be on the chances for the Congress? It has uh, caused such a great economic and you know practical difficulty to people on a day-to-day -day basis, but is that going to have any impact on the chances of the Congress? No, no, no. That will not impact. Why, why not? Who are creating this problem? People of this Manipur, they know. Strategically, we have done this one, strategically. But this is, the, you know, the, for the last 40, 50 years, people, it is people's demand. So strategically, what? I mean, what was the thinking? Why was it done strategically? What was the strategy? You know, if it is done earlier, it may create more problem and all this thing before election. It may create more problem. But it has created problems and before the election. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, would yeah, it yeah. not have helped if maybe in the beginning of this yeah, five-year yeah, term if you had done it? Now, which we cannot disclose openly now. There okay. are a lot of agendas is there. Will this help to consolidate the votes in the valley? Because... Uh, not only in valley, in the hill also this will con consolidate. Votes. But in no. but in favour or, in, uh, or in against the Congress? In favour of our government, our party. We prefer the Congress. Because we, uh, for, from the government side, uh, from our predecessors that, uh, from our MLA, uh, we get many things that in terms of development. No? Right. Certainly, we have been demanding for uh, uh, almost 30 years already. Now we have got, and uh, truly speaking, why should we want to roll back all these things? Traveling across the state, we saw a palpable interest in the BJP. Part of this is coming from anti-incumbency, but part of this is also from the interest that Prime Minister Modi has generated for himself across the rest of the country. At this juncture of economic hardship, a development agenda might be just what the state needs. But this agenda will need to simultaneously satisfy the complex demands of the Maites, Nagas and the Kukis, which are often at odds with each other. So you're going to go from one to government? One seat to government? Oh, it happens. I mean, we did it in, uh, in Assam last year. We went from uh, four to yeah. from the government there. Uh, but more importantly, in this state, BJP is going to be the common factor both in the valley as well as in the hills. Having created a situation where you wanted to uh, maximize your political benefits, but push the state into such an anarchic situation. Right, right. And now you are unable to handle it. So People are seeing that also, yeah, you must remember. Course, course. Elections are no elections, blockade is. This election is also the debut of Irom Sharmila. She recently ended her 16-year-long fast, which was in protest of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Sharmila is contesting against Chief Minister Ebobi in his constituency. She speaks a heavy ideological, political language, which is certainly different from the dominant narratives of identity and development. What, uh, what especially are you kind of looking forward to with regards to Africa, but also, you know, what are your other issues? As to other issues, Next to Avspa is bring right to justice to all.
to the sense of itself, nerve sir. I mean, economically independent. And mutual uh, harmony, communal harmony. When I become the leader for the society, I would stand at the center. Not inclining to blood relatives or to speak or to my train or try them and uh, try to connect with all the parts of the society. Do you think uh, people are ready for that? I don't know. Despite the competition between the Congress and the BJP, what is emerging is in fact a consensus between them on the issue of the new districts. They both support it and neither have promised to roll them back. Where they diverge is on the issue of timing. Why did a 15-year-old government decide to take a controversial and polarizing decision so close to the elections? You don't feel like anti incumbency is going to be a factor in this? The MLA is a profound the MLA is a profound word. As I opposed believe... to the Chief Minister? No, I won't say that. Okay, <laughs> then what do you think? I'm saying, the, the, see, uh, who, who votes us? The people. And the, uh, the MLAs are in touch with the people. 90% of the people will agree to this. That, you know, it's a very, uh, it's a uh, good decision. It's a perfect decision. By but the then why government. wasn't it taken earlier? That I cannot say, frankly speaking, why it wasn't taken earlier. Because, you know, as I said, I'm not a part of the government. But no. we can't question the timing of the government. I think we can. We can always. We can always question. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it will be that government have created the districts just when the time is the election is in here and knocking the door. If he thought really about the continent uh, of the peoples, he should have done it before two, three years ago. So when you say the timing of this was wrong, what do you mean by that? You mean that it was too close to the election? Yeah, and yeah, as yeah. a result of which what? Did the Congress get benefit from this? Yes, my days. My thesis is against the demand of the debt and revenue or anything. If the Congress has given the, the district inside the claim that I have, then Kimobi is great. Congress is great. With the BJP looking to dominate the Northeast and the Congress reduced to just seven states in the country, Manipur is important to both. On the one hand, this vote will tell us how much the short-term memory of the blockade and its identity politics will push voters to familiar refuges. In this case, the Congress. On the other, this election will tell us how much the long-term memory of 15 years of familiarity can trigger Manipur to change.